Alright guys, welcome back to another Steam Free to Play review. Today we have Horse, which is a pixelated horror game, kind of. So, it does say there's like pornography in this game, kind of, or like imagery that's like pornography. I turn that down, you're welcome, because this, <laughs> this game has a lot of ear rapey sounds in it, such as that one. But, uh, we'll be cutting out the pixel porn. Even though it doesn't, you can't really tell what's going on because it's super pixelated and kind of blurry like they blur it out. But yeah, it's, uh, we'll be cutting out the 18 plus content in this review, so don't worry. There's also another scene that was like, uh, questionably pornographic, I guess, where there's like a shower in the bathroom and like there's a drape over it, so that was kind of weird. So the one thing this game does pretty well is the sounds. Because they add a lot of suspense to the game while you're like wandering around trying to figure out what to do. A lot of this is time based it would seem because I didn't do anything in specific besides wander around and I had to wait for something to happen. Like there's some things you interact with by running into them like your only movement keys are WASD. It's not like a interact with object kind of thing. Well besides running into the object you gotta do that. And there's like little mazes, I guess, at one point. You have to like walk through your way through the maze. That's most of the gameplay you're going to get through this game. There's also noises where you think something's in the room with you. I think that's why they have this cone light vision kind of thing. Because that's the only thing I can really think about it for because there's nothing in the room. I think it's just supposed to make you suspect there's something in the room. But I never found any like monster or something that was just going to smack me. So you just kind of look for things that you can interact with, like I think that's a porno mag that's blurred out. So, that's basically what you do in this game. You wait for things to happen, you walk around, there's not much happening at all. You can't really leave the room. You can't, You basically just gotta wait until something you you can interact with something. Which kind of, it kind of blows. You can tell that the calendar is changing too if you look at it. Which I guess is neat. <laughs> I don't think this game... If you played this at night time and... Your first playthrough, you might get a little bit creeped out. I don't think it's ever going to really scare you. They don't really commit to like a... Like an actual decent scare. Like there's no jump scares or anything like that that I could find. And there's no real plot to this. You're basically playing like grown up Caillou. How you like survive cancer and he's grown up now living in a flat in Japan I figure they do add in some like live action scenes which I think they could have used a lot better than what they did like they could have done something like what was that phone game uh, finding Sarah I think it's called like with the cult and then they were sending you photos and stuff that would have been kind of cool if they put that effort into it I, it took me forever to find the phone at this part. I had no idea what I was doing. I was like, where's the phone at? <laughs> I thought that thing in the corner might have been the phone, so I was trying to figure out how to get over there. Because everything's blocking your way. And you just kind of run into it. <laughs> and I was like, oh no, it's not a phone. I wish they would have gave like some kind of story to why you have two uh, doors. But yeah, there's nothing I think that's going to make you super scared. I don't know what this person's saying either. This might be Japanese or some other language that I just don't understand. But it feels like harassment. Dude's harassing me, destroying my eardrums for whatever reason. Oh, it's like, oh, stop, dude. Dang. It just gets louder and louder and you just kind of have to take it. Ah. Uh, well, this is kind of terrifying. This dude's getting like fish hooked by a chick. <laughs> who said this game wasn't scary? It's like top ten. Who knows where her finger's been, bro? That's freaking nasty. I'd be highly upset if I got like four finger fish hooked by some chick. <laughs> oh god. Oh. But yeah, eventually you do leave the room, which is good though. I thought I was just gonna be stuck in here the whole time. And 
there's no real direction on what to do. You basically just got to wander around and find whatever you're supposed to interact with or wait for there to be something that you can interact with. There is a kind of monster. I don't know what it's supposed to be because it's super pixelated. And I won't spoil the ending for you guys as usual. I'll let you guys play it through it if you're that interested. But this game gets a 3 out of 10, I would say. Because it is creepy, but it's not very well made at all. It's alright. It's alright for a free to play horror game. Like, it almost. It won't scare you, that's for sure. And it's kind of annoying because, like, the music is, like, super um, ear rapey. Like, it just. Some of the noises are just there to, like, really bother you. They're not even, like, creepy. The more subtle noises in the game are really what gets you, like, what gave this thing a better score. Like, the subtle noises where it kind of makes you think that something's in the room with you. That gave it more of a score. Like, that's the main reason it gets a 3 out of 10. Because there's no real followable plot. There's nothing that's super scary. Um, you're not going to think about this game probably after you beat it. You'll probably forget about it as soon as you do. But if you want a little creepy experience in the middle of the night, uh, download it. It's a pretty quick game. It'll take you about 8 minutes to beat it if you find all the things they want you to find. Or interact with all the things they want you to find. Alright, thanks for watching. As always, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye!